dude. I'm shaking, I'm antsy, I'm jittery. That's musky number two that has come off in the figure eight now tonight. Oh my God, I mean. Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to season three of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Sponsored by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. Cut it up and then, yeah, at like Ace Hardware store. I've got an extra one in my Jeep, honestly. Oh, got one coming! Got one coming! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, he nipped it and got off. Oh, darn it. Well, you guys just saw it. It's a tough feeling when you're grinding out here for a bite. Had a really nice muskie come in on the figure eight there and made a real nice big wide turn with my 500 tinsel here. This is uh, the color I call Elton John, which pink blade, uh, pink tinsel skirt here. And for whatever reason right now, be it weather or boat traffic and fishing pressure, these muskies are just nipping and sometimes no matter how hard you try, you really can't get them all. Some of these fish are just barely grabbing it. That fish, you know, barely grabbed the end of these. I mean, I sharpen these hooks religiously. I check them, make sure that you always gotta make sure your hooks are just ultra pinpoint sharp and they're not, uh, you know, nubbed. You know, if you, if you over sharpen hooks, you catch a lot of fish on them, you really should replace the hook. But in this case, even with a good hook, sometimes you can't get them. What do you do in that scenario? Well, you put the pedal down and keep going. We'll come back for this fish, let her resettle. I don't know if a fish like this is gonna come back. A lot of times when you get a good hook into them, I popped her pretty good. I don't, I'm not certain that that fish would really ever come back and hit again, at least not this evening, but I hope I'm wrong on that. We'll see what happens. I'm probably gonna keep this blade on and uh, we're gonna keep going. So that's how it goes, but we just gotta, we just gotta get back at them and go a little harder. I mean, my most honest, truthful, I don't want to... Got her, got her, dude! Number three. Number two, I can't even keep track right now what's going on. That's our second muskie that got off, unfortunately, in the figure eight. Well, guys, I'm, I'm shaking, I'm antsy, I'm jittery. That's muskie number two that's come off in the figure eight now tonight. Oh my God, I mean. I actually, honestly guys, I, I just replaced the hook on my little 
Elton John 500 here. Got a brand new bronze hook on it. I, you know, Tyler and I are going back and forth in the boat. You see how shaky I am here. I mean, this 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 sport. I've, I mean, I've caught I caught a lot of muskies. I'm blessed to have done that so far, and I, they they still get me going. I still shake. Changed the hook. I figured maybe that's why I lost that first one. It, it nipped it, but maybe bad hook. I was beating myself up over it. Now we got a new hook and I stuck that fish and she made that just beautiful jump. She got off. Sometimes I guess that's how it goes, but uh, we're gonna keep going. We're not giving up and I'm just gonna keep going even harder now. Oh my God. Oh, all right, back to it. I think that was slightly smaller than the other one. What a nice fish though. Darn it, it's too hard. Eh, well, what are you gonna do? It's, uh, it's tough, but this is gonna be a segment though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count this. I mean, it's gonna be a sad segment unless we, until we start catching fish, but we'll get drones and everything. You got to, I mean, it's good fish. And we got great footage on all of them. You got one? Tell it coming? Oh, dude, that's her. You got her? Nice. Just keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Yeah, the boat waves are coming up one time. Jeez. Nice job. Wow. These guys are killing us with these boat waves. I'll grab the net, Chaz. Alright. Oh, she's off. Okay. That was awesome. All right, guys, I mean, Tyler, we needed that muskie. Oh yes, my God. Yes, we did. I mean, losing two in a row within 20 minutes That's, or something. It's, it's tough. And this muskie right here has got us back in the game. And that, guys, is how fast you can change things. Zero to hero, losing two, but Ty got us yep. on the board, man. Whoo, that smells good. All right, man, let's get her back. Sweet fish, dude. Well guys, in the sport of muskie fishing, there really are a lot of up and downs, right Ty? Yes, there are. I mean, you can go from, you know, hooking into the biggest muskie of your life and catching it, to hooking an even bigger muskie on the very next cast and losing it, yep. and then feeling like total crap. Uh, and, you know, even when they're not giants, you know, losing them hurts. And, you know, you guys just saw me lose two nice, you know, figure eight muskies in a row. And, you know, sometimes they just get off. But, you know, what's really cool about this tie is that, you know, you just come back and you go back harder and you keep going when you get knocked down. And we got one on the board. Yeah, you just have to keep grinding. Yeah, you, ha you have to keep grinding. And, you know, because a lot of folks, you know, guide clients of mine, I'll say, you know, wow, Chaz, you know, we love when you guys talk about that it takes maybe eight hours to catch this muskie on this great YouTube segment. You know, it really makes us feel good. Well, guys, it's the truth. You're, you're, see, you're gonna see all of our lost fish here, and then you're gonna see Tyler's awesome top reader figure eight muskie that really did take some judo technique there, because yes, you, you know, didn't see the follow real well. No, I didn't see her real well, and then I kind of saw her at the last second. And then, you know, that's when uh, good figure eight is really key. Good, for, and, and even, you know, we're jumping up and down with these, but we got skiers yeah. going around here. I mean, that was even made it all harder. The fact that, you know, we had just lost one and then the boat's bopping up and down and Tyler, somehow you saw that yeah. muskie. Yeah. Um, now, one other thing here with our lures, we're both fishing uh, St. Croix. This is the Legend Elite nine foot medium heavy. And this is eight, six. Uh, Legend uh, tournament. Yeah, Legend tournament medium heavy. Uh, both 80 pound test B sprayed and you know we talk about this a lot complementing each other you know one guy on a blade one guy on a top reader yeah and 
between the two of those, you, you, you're going to call up different fish. What's neat about this is there's some muskies that I'm running into that are just hot on the blade and some are hot in the top reader. Yeah. And if, you, if you're both fishing top readers, you're both fishing blades, you're going to be missing out on muskies. That's a huge point, really, that you yep. can see here in this segment because, you know, that muskie wasn't interested in, in my 500, but she wanted a top reader. Yeah. Muskie fishing requires a unique blend of physical strength to cast for hours and also mental toughness in order to endure some of the hardships that come with losing a good muskie. No matter how good you are, you won't catch them all. And reminding ourselves to always get back up when we get knocked down and to enjoy the beauty of the wilderness and people that surround us is what is most important. We hope you have enjoyed this segment, and as always, thanks for watching.